Good morning. This is Joseph Sayoum, president of Earthquake. I would like to share with you today how I invented the shallow speaker. 20 years ago, I was contacted by our distributors in Germany, and he said, we need shallow speaker. And there were several good brands on the market with good, reasonable uh, design. But they were all conventional. So I stayed at home thinking about it late at night. I said, I got to maximize the moving area and minimize the depth. How can I do this? So I kept playing with different designs. One thing I've always uh, that always puzzled me was the conventional design. Take, for example, this driver. This driver is probably Harman Becker or Bose. It's used by BMW. If you look carefully, the motor is inverted. But no matter whether the motor is in the back, like a conventional speaker, or in the front, there's always a spider that's either over the motor or under it, forcing the depth to be high. That was my first visual thing. Then I said, I got to make myself a speaker that allows me to have the rigid area, which is the cone, and the motor go into, into one another without having high depth. So take, for example, the SWS-8. And as you see, the motor is basically the magnet that is needed to do this movement. And notice how it is. So I designed the shallow woofer system that you look here, SWS. You see how the motor in the cone, when you take this guy, push it here through the hole, it fits. The motor moves up into the cone. And there it is. Voila. Full excursion. One and a half inch on the SWA, SWS-8. And yet, mountain depth, very shallow. The SWS subwoofer is the only subwoofer that you can ever buy that has the shallowest mount, and yet it does not tax your excursion. I'm gonna prove that today. Today, I have on the table here 15 inch that is under three inch, 12 inch that is under three inch, 10 inch, and the most famous speaker in a BMW, the SWS. The SWS-8 has the maximum piston area than any other sub and car. 23.5% more area. Guys, sound pressure level knows no logos, knows no name brand, and no fancy finishing shiny metal. All it knows is what is your area and how far it moves. We move 50% more than the actual factory BMW and any other brand that you drop in there. Now, I want to point out something today. The piston area of a BMW speaker, it doesn't matter what brand you bring from the BMW, is six and three quarter, and I measured it right there. The Earthquake SWS piston area is seven and a half. When you do the math, the BMW is 35.78 inch square. The Earthquake SWS is 44.18. When you ratio the two areas, it's 23.5%. There is no way in, on earth they're gonna have the same SPL. Now, you take 23.5 piston area with 50% increase in excursion and no chance for any speaker to fit in that hole that's gonna give you the bang we will. As far as accuracy, my friend, everyone knows neodymium motor is the key. The only two companies that uses neodymium motor there is the Harman Becker, and look at the size of the motor, and look at this. We have four times the motor. For accuracy, you need high density magnet. Now I know there are brands like Bev, whatever their name is. I think they don't use Neo and a couple of other brands. You need to test the SWS because when you buy a BMW and you buy second class citizen type woofer, you're gonna be at the short end of the stick. I wanna go over a couple of things that shows the advantage of the SWS design. The SWS design is the only design that gives you flat speaker as in mounting depth, yet gives you full excursion. All these drivers are running me here. They can give you up to two inch excursion, yet they mount in under three inch. Another thing is reliability. When you make an enclosure so small, particles of air that basically are in the enclosure are fewer and as hence, they get hot, the coil gets hot. So we want to give you reliability. That's why I invented the SWS system like so. If you look carefully, the SWS system uses aluminum bobbin. That would be the wire wrapped around aluminum. 
that before we assemble the speaker, we center it, and then we have <coughs> aluminum heat sink dust cap. We place this here and literally weld it right on the aluminum voice cord. This becomes your heat sink since the cone is radiating between two surfaces, inside the box and outside, so this is your heat sink. So bottom line, the SWS uses external heat sink to cool down the coil. Furthermore, the SWS has ribbed cones. You cannot bend it. So these cones have ribs everywhere. That method was invented by me. Now there are several copies on the market and I know people have to learn from me and do things and that's okay. But I invented this before anyone ever and I delivered it to you, not just by wild invention, shallow speaker, one invention, full excursion, one invention, rib cone, or one invention, heat sink, right, welded on the voice cord. I put them all in one for you to enjoy. So please enjoy. Now, many of you have asked me, what makes the SWS so special that it gives you six decibel more bass in a BMW? Same enclosure. Well, I decided to show you the magic sauce and the formula that these speakers work under. In order to do this, I have to first show you conventional speaker. Here next to me is Cutaway of Earthquake Sub-Zero, which has a great deal of structure, as you can see, and it's not cleaned. I guess the dust is on it. So ignoring the dust, what do we got here? We got triangular system dust cap, which allows it to move in and out a huge excursion without picking up any type of cone distortion. Well, another thing it does, since the suspension is over the motor, or if it was above the motor, like in the BMW design on Harman Becker, you need more depth. So why? Because look, you have to move in and out in order to do it, whether the motor is on top or bottom. Every speaker before we made the SWS had either the spider over the top plate or under the top plate. Having said that, the depth had to be big. Well, now let's look at the SWS. Right here, I have a cutaway of the SWS. As you see, the SWS made a cavity up here so that the motor, when it's moving in, when it's at rest, it moves into each other, as you can see. So the SWS is able to com completely push the excursion so all these components are optimized with the mounting depth. For example, if you gave me two inch mounting depth, I'm gonna give you close to two inch peak to peak excursion. So if you look at this thing here now, that's how it works. It moves in all the way and back. Now, because of the condition in the box, there is not enough air particle. I had to turn around and generate thermal cooling system. This is an aluminum cooling system that sits over here. So once you take it out and look at it, it's welded right on the voice coil. So it actually touches the coil and radiate the heat through the aluminum bobbin to the outside. That's how SWS work. Of course, it has other benefits such as centering and so on. From Earthquake Sound here, Joseph Sayun, thank you for listening.